All right, um, it's time now for your questions or your comments. Yes? They want to hand you a microphone. Uh, does the retention uh, process where you vote for retention uh, mitigate any of, in your mind, uh, any of the problematic issues that go with partisan? I don't have data one way or another. So I, I um, when, when I study this, I'm able to determine um, the state in which the judge was uh, appointed or selected and the method. If I have Judge Jones's decision, I have no way of knowing whether Judge Jones is a first term or a retained judge. So I, I don't have an answer. What is your guess or suspicion? I would, I would think so too. Um, given the fact that it's very hard to unseat a judge in the first place, one would assume that, they're, that they have a, a, a thicker hide or tougher skin and, and that they're drawing from a, um, a reservoir of um, goodwill or at least acceptance uh, in their, um, among the electorate. Other questions or comments you have? Ron. Yeah, uh, very good, Michael. Uh, you lost me at one point, which is not hard to do sometimes. Uh, uh, why would why do some of these cases end up in federal courts and others in state courts? Oh, that's that's a uh, no. I, uh, that's a very good question. Um, all the states now have enacted, except for one. All the states have enacted um, um, what are called uniform arbitration acts, and the FAA permits that to occur. So it is a function usually of the employment contract specifying which law provides the standards. Uh, it's strictly a jurisdictional issue. But your question is very important uh, because it goes to the, the model that I put up there. Um, state courts are an option, first of all. So um, to the extent that employers consciously adopt this litigation avoidance model, and I have no empirical data to know what percentage do and, and what don't, or if they just stumble into this after the fact. But a very calculating employer can say, this is the state, not only do we want to be in a state court, we operate nationwide. We want to try to establish some kind of connection in a way where we can put this dispute before a judge where the review standards are favorable to us. We can do, the FAA allows us to designate federal or state. We're designating state, and we're designating a court where we made a contribution is the ultimate uh, possibility. Did I find any direct evidence of that? No, I did not. Does that answer your question, though? I think so, yeah. Step back to the beginning for a minute you were talking about. Yeah. What was the Roberts Court thinking when they said corporations are people and have unlimited, can spend unlimited amounts, and yet I as a person have a limited amount I can spend? Oh, I have a thought, but I think you have a thought. Why don't you share your thought first? Go ahead. I'd rather hear yours. I, 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 some, oh. Somebody that knows something. Um. Well, uh, look, uh, the, one, the, the two possibilities that occurred to me is that they have idealized uh, First Amendment rights to the point of unreality. So uh, to the extent that I say um, Walmart has the same right to, to donate to, to a campaign as Michael Leroy, they have the same right. Um, they're blind to the fact that Walmart and Michael Leroy cannot exercise the same influence, right? The other possibility is that, um, uh, and, and the, 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 the more sinister possibility is that um, some of these justices um, believe that uh, certain laws, in, in the discrimination field, I can't help but come to the conclusion that a certain number of justices are simply hostile to the law, to the statute. When I look at the Gilmer decision and others that have followed, that all but invalidate a law that a majority of Congress enacted and a president signed, and I therefore should be entitled to uh, utilize, I, I wonder if there aren't more sinister, sinister kinds of motivations and, and so forth. 
So I have no special insight. I suspect it's idealization of, of First Amendment speech rights. I, I want to be an optimist or an idealist. What do you think now? Or you don't have to, but I, I suspected no, I that you have a thought. It just makes no sense to me. Right. The, the power differential that you're talking about mm -hmm. um, is so extreme. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe that'd be good. The power differential is so extreme, and um, the logic behind it escapes me totally. Um, Justice Stevens seemed to be right on the head with it when he talks about it. I, I agree with you. Um, and, uh, and so, I mean, I don't know uh, how much you or I want to share viewpoints uh, publicly or openly. I think uh, I, I'm, I'm concerned about what I see in, in the Tea Party movement. That said, um, uh, it, it does suggest that, that uh, there can be sort of spontaneous combustion. It can be a bad combustion or a good combustion, but, um, you know, my take on at least some of these candidacies which just generate out of nowhere um, uh, to the extent that they are spontaneous and they, now they are well funded. Once they, they, they have some life breathed into them, now you have the possibility of taking an extreme group, getting funded, and they take off with it. So in my initial take is, is not as, as, as hopeful as one would think. I think that the, the imbalance that is enshrined by the Citizens United decision is deeply disturbing. Is there any recourse at all in con can Congress? Yes. Uh, amend con the statute, the McCain, Feingold? I mean, it begs the question. Congress always can trump the Supreme Court uh, by invalidating, uh, by superseding. Uh, a, a decision. I, I don't know where that gets to in terms of that particular campaign law where the ruling was so broad. I don't know how you, uh, I understand how in the context of in, in, in the Civil Rights um, Act of, of, of 1991 or 1964, how a particular decision by the Supreme Court, the Congress can say the court got it wrong there, we overruled. I mean, literally, that's the legislation. The Lillian Ledbetter uh, Fair Pay Act uh, of a year ago is an illustration of that. Uh, if you ask me, though, to say, okay, uh, uh, theoretically, yes, Congress can. How does that look in print? I don't know. I don't know. Have um, I have both a comment and a question I'd appreciate your response on. They're sort of all interconnected here, I think. The comment is, is there any judicial or political value in the old idea 